anytime we can work on our ball handling and finishing at the same time, uh, this is excellent. You know, this is a, a drill that I love to do more in training sessions, a little harder to do in, in big groups at camps. But you see with a lot of our ball handling drills, there's a lot of times where we want to get wide, we want to float, we want to stretch our dribble angles out. And, you know, that has a lot of meaning to me because as a player, there were a lot of times where I had somebody who was bigger but slower. And so if I could get outside of their frame and then get downhill, that was a chance for me to be effective. But also there were a lot of times where somebody was quicker than me. Maybe I had a length advantage, but you know, they're, they're six foot and, and lightning quick. And so knowing that a lot of times I knew when I started to move laterally, they were quick enough. They were always going to beat me to the spot. I used that to my advantage. I let them beat me to the spot and then boom, I can cut back. So those are the couple reads that we're working on off this little ball handling finishing series right here. So my first one, one, two, drift, boom, stepping through Up that third dribble, peeking at the rim. You're not a low pickup right there. Over here, one, two, drift, peek. Up. Then we're into our finish. Same thing on the other side. See how we're really trying to stretch this bounce out. One, two, drift, peak. Coming up into our finish. Here, drift, up, into our finish right there, okay? So we can work on that with different variations of finishes. As I mentioned before, now let's work on Drifting, I imagine my defender cuts me off. I cut back and I finish again. This situation would be a right side finish. Cutting back again. Drift, Just reach. And up. Okay, so working on ball handling, working on the lateral movement, you can work on some finishes. We're also going to work on uh, a couple more advanced finishes right here. I'm gonna grab a couple rebounds. So if I'm here, one, two is when I'm getting into my float. My third dribble is getting outside and then attacking downhill. And I can get into a finish. Change up the finish, see what you can work with. Be a little floater. Right there. Reverse pivot. There. Spin. Up. Let's try the other side. Same thing. Just changing up how I finish. But I'm always working on this lateral drift. Create some space laterally. See what I have. Downhill. One more. You want to get some jump shots in? You can use this and get into your pull up. So, again, ball handling, footwork, lateral movement. You can add in some finishing, some, some jumpers. And if you like what we're providing, in our 29 day ball handling series, check out the Kramer basketball app. If you're a coach, go to coachesedge.coach. Get after it.